What up, everyone, and welcome to Tuck Notes Beginner Stock Talk. My name's Tucker, and uh, tonight's topic is Tesla stock. Coming up, we'll be going over Elon Musk's recent stock sales. We'll be uh, covering the update on the recent federal investigation involving Tesla stock uh, that launched recently. Um well, launched the, the federal investigation. So uh, that was a few weeks ago. And we are gonna listen to an analyst uh, that says Tesla, why, why he thinks Tesla, he sees a massive uh, potential for this Tesla stock in 2022 and you know why he thinks it's a good buy right now. So all of this important information is coming up now. So. Tesla closed at $1,067.00. It was up 5.76%, which is $58.13. Uh, yesterday, it was up 7%. So you add the 5 and the 7, that's 12% in the week. That's a lot. That's a lot for a for a $1,000 company. Um, today, we opened at $1,000, and we did not look back. It just kept going up and up and up and up there's a couple points where i thought it might go down but no it didn't and so basically like the overall stock market did great and there was just green everywhere along this the screen but what did the best out of all the stocks was tesla again i've said this i think almost three times in a row now best performing stock of the day so um that means a lot of tension is being drawn to that one. So there's massive updates for Tesla. We've gone over them, but we'll go into Elon Musk and what stocks uh, that he's sh sold and our shares. And so basically uh, yesterday, Elon, uh, Tesla went up 7% irrespective of him selling his shares. And to get you an idea of this shares, he sold at $1,002 and he sold 600,000 shares. And then again, he sold later at $979.49, he sold about 340,000 340, shares. So even though he's been selling Tesla just keeps going up. Uh, as of now, he has one and a half million shares left to sell. So, uh, and the stock has not been looking back since then. Um, now, another important update to talk about is the investigation with the National Highway and Safety Traffic Patrol people. A few weeks ago, there was an investigation regarding video games and driving, and there was a concern about, you know, playing video games and getting into an accident. It's kind of common sense, but uh, they did a software update. Uh, they basically did a software update, and now people can play video games even though the vehicle's in motion. Uh, passengers or people other than the driver, I think, would think. Uh, it was an easy fix for Tesla. Um, but now Tesla promises to change also in car games after the federal investigation. It won't take long for them to fix. Uh, they can do another software update or they can change the software. I mean, you got geniuses working for this company, so it's not a, like, you know, putting a band-aid or it is like putting a band-aid on a wound or something going into the recent analyst that i mentioned earlier uh he's stating that tesla could potentially see a massive upsize because of some um massive catalysts that are not actually priced into the tesla stock right now so that's a key part right now what i just said that are not actually priced into Tesla stock right now. As we talked in the past, we got the announcement that uh, Tesla Berlin and Tesla Gigafactory in Austin 
uh, were they're nearly almost officially coming to open. That's going to be a massive, massive catalyst. And this analyst actually believes that, uh, but we'll just watch the clip and you can see what he has to believe. And uh, I'll show it to you right now. Be, uh, kind of fair to say that, that this entire Musk selling episode, it coincided with a pullback uh, from highs in Tesla shares, um, even though CEOs sell stock in their, in their founded companies all the time. Uh, but I wonder where you think it leaves it. We're still at a trillion dollar market cap, up a lot today. It's pretty close to your price target. So, you know, how do you uh, characterize the outlook for the company relative to where the stock is right now for next year? All right, so drama aside, there's always a lot of drama when we talk about Tesla. But leaving all that aside, Tesla really is about, it's a momentum stock. And so I've always looked at this in a very simple way. You know, look at it with that sort of scale. What's on the pro, what's on the negative side for potential risk? And do we have more um, catalysts coming up that are positive versus negative? And I still think that we have more positives than negative. This is a production story. So it's about, you know, these giga factories. And if we look at that, we're mere weeks away from Berlin coming online, then you're gonna have Texas coming online, and you've got the 40, the 2170 batteries transitioning to 4680s. That gives them optionality, which is the ability to move from just an auto company into an energy company. And I think that that's not fully baked into the, uh, into the shares at this point. Do you feel it's not baked into the shares in terms of how the storyline might see might might be energized by that and and therefore you get you know this re, a restart of that momentum or do you actually believe on a financial basis at a trillion dollars you know the potential for these new gigafactories and this other, other energy uh, business line are not reflected in the in the valuation? Well, I mean, we have to look at: Are we in a bull market? Or are we in a bear market? And so if we're going to look at the because it's all relative. You know, our price, yeah. are, we're, we're all trying to look at what is relative performance. So, you know, we would be having a different discussion if the argument here was, hey, we're in a bear market in terms of the total value. By the way, the guys that argue value on Tesla, they've gotten their heads handed to them time and time again uh, here. So I'll come back and say in a bull market, um, and by the way, the, the build back better, that not happening, at least for the time being, and that actually takes the whole competitive side away from, you know, all the competitors coming in and taking the share. Tesla, because Tesla wouldn't be capturing that uh, anyhow. So I do think that in this market, at this time, there's still more positives than negatives with respect to Tesla, and I'll keep the buy on that. So there you have it. All right. So... As I always do promise, uh, what to, now, now is what to expect for Tesla stock as we get to the end of the year. On at this point, I'd ask, please, if you like these videos, uh, subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you know when I make a video. And if you like, if you find, well, I'll, I'll say that later. But basically, now we're going to get into the Tesla technical analysis and uh what to expect so bouncing back from 900 it broke out to the upside you know it was at 900 and now we're you know oh, at the price i told you and we're getting close to 1100 um the most important level to be on the watch out for is when Tesla goes above its all-time high, which is $1,243. I'm gonna repeat this again because this is very important. The most important price level to be on the watch out for is when Tesla goes above its all-time high, which is $1,243. Expecting a massive catalyst coming up soon. We're still waiting on the final approval for the production in Berlin. Uh, and when that's, you know, done, we will be good. Texas, Texas is going to be a massive player also. So that's freaking rad. Uh, we're experiencing the Santa Claus rally and it tends to continue to the end of the year. 
I've told my subscribers that were here last year around this time, this is when lots of, all stocks usually do really well at the end of December and sometimes the first two days of January. So um, expect some massive moves to the upside um, for 2022. It's going to be a crazy, crazy year. Um, and so with that, that's the video. If you like these, this video or you like any of the videos, I'd appreciate it if you push the like button. It really helps out the channel. And I hope you guys have a great holiday, a healthy holiday, and a happy new year. And I will talk to you guys later. And have a good night. Peace out.